Here is a look at where the central train station is in Warsaw in relation to the rest of the city. And here is a close up of it showing the big mall named Zlati Tarasi next to it and the metros that are close by. The Warsaw Central train station is pretty much in the center of the city and is central to all types of transportation you may need to get around in Warsaw or go to other cities in Poland or even to travel to other countries. From here, there are trains to Berlin, Germany, Moscow, Russia, Prague, Czech Republic, Vienna, Austria, and Budapest, Hungary. I came to Warsaw by train from Krakow. It was about two and a half hours and about 40 US dollars. I made the mistake of getting off at the station before this one called Warsaw West. I thought it was one of the central train stations for some reason, I don't remember why. Uh, it was actually farther to my apartment than if I got off here at this central train station. Uh, there was not much at that station and I was lucky I was actually able to find a cab quickly because if I didn't, I'd be pretty much stranded over there. Before you go to a new city, I think you should have an idea of what the area looks like where you plan to get off, whether that's the bus, the train, or tram, or metro, or whatever. You may find out that the directions you got from Google or wherever you got them might not be that good, even though it may be the shortest distance or the quickest trip. Now, if you're coming to Warsaw, you're likely going to come through here unless you fly in. And even if you fly in, you might end up here because there is a train from the airport coming here and there's also a night bus uh, coming here and leaving from here. Uh, another thing about planning a trip is that you should not assume that public transportation is the cheapest option. In the U.S., it's usually cheaper to fly than to take a train for distances of about 300 miles or more. When I was in Barcelona recently, I needed to go to Madrid. The train cost over $100, but a flight was only about $57. When I was leaving Warsaw on this trip, I had a very early flight, so I was trying to figure out how to get to the airport while leaving my apartment really late, like 5 a.m. or something. Uh, at that time of night, there are more limited options, and I think the only option was you had to take a special night bus because the train was not running. So I would have to walk almost a mile to get to the train station and then take some kind of night bus from there. Uh, just to compare, I checked Uber to see what it would cost, and I was really surprised because it only cost about five US dollars for an approximately five mile trip to the airport from my Airbnb apartment. <laughs> Normally, the average taxi to the airport is like 35 to $60 in the US or Europe. So I would take public transportation if it's available. Uh, I'm all about not paying a lot when I travel, but in this case, an Uber was a no brainer over public transportation, which might have been one or two dollars cheaper but involve way more hassle and time and walking so the lesson is not to assume what the costs are check them all out and compare them you might find that a quicker easier way is actually cheaper or not much more than public transportation a uh, good place to start when you compare travel options is goeuro.com it compares train, bus, and plane prices, and even blah blah car. Uh, if you know what, if you don't know what that is, it's like a ride-sharing website for long-distance travel. So, say if you're going from Valencia to Madrid or something, they sell the empty three seats in a car, so you travel with three other people plus a driver or something like that. Also, uh, find out what the most used ride-sharing apps 
in the city you are in because in Warsaw it was Uber and there were a lot of drivers available and it was very cheap. Uh, in other cities, Uber may be banned or the popular ride uh, app is something different, not Uber, not Lyft, something else, something local like Yandex or Get or something along those lines. So this train station really is central to everything and has pretty much any form of transportation you can think of. Uh, it has the trains that go out of the country, the trains that go to cities in Poland. It has a tram right out front that you probably saw go by a minute ago. Uh, like I said, the two metro stations, the M1 and the M2 line are like a five minute walk from here. And then you have a bus station that's on the other side that's between the train station and the mall right there there's a whole bus station uh, and then of course you have the taxis and even uh, I think across the street there's a rack for the city bike rentals so you can even get a bike if you don't want any of those other options uh, strange thing about this train station is the difference between the outside and the inside. If you look at the outside, it looks very 1970s. Uh, and looking this up, I see it was built in 1975. However, the inside looks very modern, so it doesn't match the outside and uh, also looking this up, I see that it was redone around 2010, 2011, the inside. So that's why it looks so much more modern than the outside of the building. So here I am crossing through the bus terminal part and heading to the mall across the street. That's my video. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.